Welcome to the Story Chief Academy. In this video, we'll explore the collaboration features with clients and the best practices. Let's start from the beginning. You can invite a client to join Story Chief, or you can use our external sharing options. In the first case, they will receive an invitation email to join the platform with a simple click on the Join Workspace button. This also redirects them to the workspace. Managing client access is crucial for maintaining privacy and streamlining collaboration. In the agency settings, you control what clients can see in their workspaces. Hide billing page. Toggle this option on if you want to limit subscription management to the workspace owner. Other users won't see the billing page. Weekly digest. By default, users receive a weekly digest with statistics from the past week. However, with this toggle, you can set a default for all workspaces. This can be changed individually per workspace later on. Using the switch changes the settings for all users in a particular workspace. They can still change this in their notification settings. By clicking on the notifications and proceeding to the notification center, they can turn on and off their preferences. Below are the branding settings that have a more visual impact on client communication. A custom from name, email address, and an image of your liking helps make the emails more recognizable. Here we see an email that a new user received to join the child workspace. The sending name and email address are adjusted to the chosen branding settings. That's it for the setup. When going to the article overview, all the articles are listed. Here you can see if they are still on draft and what their approval status is. Something interesting is creating a segment for articles that need the approval of a certain client. Click on Add Filter, search for Reviewer Status, fill in the name, and opt for Pending as Status. Save the segment under a chosen name, such as Client Pending Approval. This overview lets you quickly edit and see the content your client needs to approve. Now, on to the approval request of the article itself. You created an article and want to ask for approval or feedback before publishing. On top of the page, click on Collaborate and select Ask Someone to Review. Here, you can add the name of the client if they are a user. Or, you can paste their email address so they can access it as an external person. After sending the request, you'll see that there is a status pending added on top of the page. If someone didn't approve or decline the content after a while, you can resend the approval request. After the article has been approved, the status will be updated to Approved. This will also trigger an email notification to let you know the content can go live. Inside of the article, you can select text to leave comments. Something that's interesting is the visibility level of comments. Public comments will be visible for external people and clients, but team comments are only visible to writers and above. If someone left you some comments and you applied the feedback to the article, mark the comments as resolved. That way, the comment overview is clean. Use the filter on top to view all the comments, the open ones, the resolved ones, or only your threads and mentions. Social posts work very similar. The post overview shows all the social posts with their publish and collaboration status. Segments for pending content can be added to the sidebar. Inside of the posts, you can ask for approval to users or external people. That's it for the content. A powerful feature is creating filter segments in the calendar, which allows easy access to a group of filters and can be shared with external stakeholders. As an example, we'll create a segment for published content. Start by selecting the state and choose Published. Click on Save Filters and give the segment a name, such as Publish Content and Save the Segment. In this segment, click on Share on the right side to enable link sharing. With this link, clients or colleagues can quickly see the content in the segment you share with them. Here, you see an example of our public calendar. Scroll down to see today's articles and click on Content to see more details. A user will have the ability to edit information or open the editor. For social posts, these open when being clicked on. Finally, multi-day events can be viewed by opening the collapsed view. Keeping up to date on the progress of your content is crucial. Click on the bell icon to open the Story Chief inbox. This shows you an overview of new actions that happened. Every comment you are tagged in, each content piece pending your approval, new campaign status updates, and even destinations that disconnected. It's possible to check notifications as read via the checkbox, mark all as read, or to use the filter on top for a more focused view. 
Besides the inbox, you can see updates of the content you follow and general updates. In the notification settings, you can toggle whether you like to receive email notifications and the weekly digest. A tip, here you can also add Slack to receive your notifications. Don't get distracted by a cluttered inbox, but get notified when someone mentions you in Story Chief. Congratulations! You've learned how to collaborate smoothly with your clients via Story Chief. Go check out the platform and turn the theory into practice. Curious for more? Check out our other videos.